Hey everyone, quick update from Facebook. There's now a new modeling being calculated for how they're doing their conversions after this whole iOS 14 thing that changed on April 26th. There's now an annotation here that'll tell you if your results are including or if people have opted out of iOS 14. And essentially, like if you hover over one of these actual results amount, you'll see if there's an annotation next to it. And if there is, that essentially means that some people might've opted out and they might've used statistical model modeling in this case. So as you can see here, website purchases 167. This means that there hasn't been any model applied to this and that this is accurately tracking from the pixel currently. But if we hover over this one, we'll see that there are potential purchases that haven't been included in this count. Or in some cases, Facebook might have applied a math model that they're using to calculate if a conversion had came through. So they're essentially predicting um, or figuring out another way to track without revealing who the individual is. So it might not allow the algorithm to optimize any further, but it certainly allows you to potentially still track additional users. So it's still a little unclear on Facebook's part, but one of the main takeaways here is that this number might not be the most accurate number in terms of how many purchases you have, um, but Facebook's trying to actually apply a model here where it includes the purchases that aren't tracked through Apple iOS devices. Just to show you really quick what that looks like with the statistical modeling, let's say that you actually get a purchase, and this is yesterday on the 26th when this took place. You can actually get website purchases, but they're not going to report the ROAS. So the statistical modeling is actually attributing results to an ad, uh, assuming it got a purchase, but because the person has opted out of the iOS 14 where they don't want their data to be shared with Facebook or other apps, it isn't going to be able to send the value at which how much they spent. It won't tell you Facebook who the name is. So therefore the algorithm can't optimize, but what it can do is still show you the data because they're still predicting that actual purchase went through. So in this case, you can see it was applied, but in other cases, this might mean that you might not have as many purchases being shown here if the ROAS is, is being calculated. So, you know, that's one of the things you have to look out for when you're actually running your reports. So that way you can truly understand the actual, you know, bottom line that's being impacted and have an accurate viewpoint of what the purchases count are. But yeah, that's essentially what uh, the most recent update is with um, the iOS. I will be linking the video below or the link to the actual article that explains this further here. So that way you can read all about this and, you know, learn some more things. Uh, but if you have any other news or anybody else has something they'd like to share, please add in the comments and I'll go ahead and check it out. Thank you, everybody.